The sentence amounts to 30 years, which is essentially a life sentence, which is what the prosecution was asking for. The judge's remarks were as searing as you will perhaps ever hear in a courtroom as she just tore into R. Kelly as she was reading out why she was imposing the sentence. She said, Brother, sister time. That's what's up. I am Lockout Man. Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. That's what's going on. If you guys like what I do over here, y'all know what to do. Y'all need to hit that subscribe, that like, and that thank you button to show support for the channel. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Tonight's special guest is my little sister, by the way. She go by Keisha. Hey, uh, bro. I, I, I don't know if she should go by another name, but Keisha. Nah, Keisha Cole. Keisha yeah. Cole. Hey, Ke everybody. Keisha suffice right now. Oh, how mercy. Keisha is, 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 is the name. So, uh, bit day to day, mm. bit day to day, sure. bit day to day. A lot of, mm. a lot of things. Let's talk about, before we get into the topic, let's, let's, let's talk about, uh, your step, I mean, step, God damn, let's talk about your father. No, 70, my real father. 78 years old. Yeah. He yes, turned seventy-eight uh, today. He turned seventy-eight today. He was able to yep. able to be here for his seventy-eighth birthday. Speedy yes, recovery. Grace of God. Yes, yep. uh, speedy recovery. Let's let's uh, talk a little bit about him. Yeah, how how's he doing? By the way, he hanging in there. He hanging in he there. He still can't talk or anything, but he hanging in there. He's strong. So okay, all right. He well. he he doing. All right, prayers up. You know what I'm saying. Yep. I'm still praying Thank for you. my, still praying for my uh, self father. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. No doubt. But see, me, me and my sister, me and my sister, we we have a, we have a difference of opinions, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we have a difference of opinions because see, we both come from the same mother, but we came right. from we came from different fathers. So right. So she say, we're not, we're, we're not stepping. I just say you're my stepsister because you, know, you, you, you came from a different father. Why you? Yeah, can't they you? try to use the half. Yeah, half sister. Why, 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 why you can't, why, why, why you can't accept that? Why, why you can't? Accept no, we don't. Use, black people don't use that. We don't use that. We ain't got time for that. Oh, you say black people don't use that. Black people, we ain't got time for all the half brother and half sisters. No, we don't do that. Oh, it's either it's either all or nothing with us, huh? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't do that. Mm, we leave that for the corny people. We ain't got time for all that. That's what's up. All right, so we're gonna get yeah. into it, man. Man, listen. <sighs> man. I mean, R. R. Kelly. I mean, he got. Let me go in and uh, get it, you know, put it together for you people. R. Kelly was sentenced today for 30 years in prison <sighs> for sex trafficking. Sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. Now, to my understanding, mm -hmm. I think he's like, what, 55? Well, right? 53, something like that. But yeah. in, any, in any case, he'll be in his 80s coming out of oh, prison. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Says here that R. Kelly preyed upon children and young women for his own sexual mm. gratification for decades. We do want to get to some breaking news here. Grammy winner R. Kelly was just sentenced on charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. Joining me now with more on this developing news is NBC's Ron Allen, who's outside the courtroom in Brooklyn, New York. Ron, what can you tell us about the sentence? The sentence amounts to 30 years which is essentially a life sentence, which is what the prosecution was asking for. The judge's remarks were as searing as you will perhaps ever hear in a courtroom as she just tore into R. Kelly as she was reading out why she was imposing the sentence. She said that she, she talked about how he had such great advantages. Kelly's 
attorneys argued for a lesser sentence, saying that he'd been a victim of childhood sexual abuse, saying that he'd grown up in a violent in environment, saying that there were all these reasons that were mitigating factors. But the judge said that those were uh, explanations, but not an excuse for his behavior. She described it as violent, cruelty, controlling, calculated, carefully planned over with regularity over a period of 25 years. Remember the charges racketeering that he was the head of a criminal enterprise, essentially, that was all about his own personal sexual gratification that, again, went on for some 25 years. Uh, she said that it is an enterprise, that you lured young people and took control of their lives, that you had enablers. She made talked a lot about the engineers, drivers, managers, others who were in his orbit, who she described as going out, minions who went out to malls and lured young people into his orbit. Uh, she, she named some by name and wondered what was going to happen to them? How could this happen? How could all these people be around him letting this happen? Uh, she talked about Aaliyah, who was, of course, um, R. Kelly's first victim. She was a young girl who was 13 or 14 years old when the judge said that R. Kelly began attacking her sexually, essentially. Uh, Aaliyah, of course, was a, a rising star who, uh, who came into R. Kelly's orbit and died years later as a, in a plane crash that was unrelated to R. Kelly. Um, she Disgrace R&B superstar R. Kelly was sentenced today, Wednesday, to 30 years in prison, months after mm -hmm. he was convicted on all nine counts of high-profile sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. U.S. District Judge Ann Donnelly handed down the sentence in Brooklyn, New York, after several of Kelly victims angrily addressed him at the hearing. Donnelly, mm -hmm. Donnelly menaced no words as she threw the book at the once beloved performer. You were a person who had great advantage, worldwide fame, and un tethered celebrityism an untold amount of money you took advantage of their hopes their dreams holding teenagers in your house trapped didn't he make a video called trapped in the closet Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. You were up the top of the organization. And you raped and beat them, separated them from their families, and forced them to do unspeakable things. Mm -hmm. The victims who addressed the court said that they had barely any, any will to live during the time up under R. Kelly's control. Let me stop. Stop right there. Hold up. Look, it's no doubt that R. Kelly was at the top of his game back in the day. Everybody wanted to get with this man. So you, I cannot, look, I understand, I understand the victims here. I get y'all, but I can't relate to y'all. Because y'all try everything to get with this man. Y'all threw bras, panties, shirts, anything at this man. Y'all know what this dude was about. We talking about women in their in, in their late twenties. We talking about women. Mm -hmm. We we talking about women probably in their early twenties, thirties, forties. And you mean to tell me? That this one man had power over all of y'all. Y'all couldn't get up and walk out. Y'all couldn't. Y'all 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 couldn't open up the door. Nobody wasn't hold. Nobody was not holding you hostage. Mm -hmm. Y'all wanted a piece of this man. Y'all got it. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all abused it. Whatever the case may be. Something happened, yada, 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 and y'all turned on him. Y'all turned on him. That's what y'all did. 
Y'all mm. turned on this man, but y'all went out. You the, the same people that claimed that he did all this stuff to him were the same people was trying to get fame and fortune from him. Not to mention everybody that he put on. Come on. Everybody that he, every everybody collaborated with this man. This man got hits on top of hits on top of hits. I can Now I understand I, you know the Aaliyah thing. You know I understand that. But still y'all ladies knew what this man was about. You know he was a freak. You know he liked freaky shit. But to say that this man sets trafficking? Sets trafficking? Uh, uh. Keisha, this, this man... Again, like I said, this man made hits on top of hits. He made he made hits out of other people. He brought the Isley brothers back into into the fold. Come on now, mm -hmm. Keisha. What, what what you got to say? What what you got to say? Hey, I, you know what? He beat the first time. He beat the. The case the first time. Beat the case the first time, right? Got off. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, charges I, 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 wasn't I, I, the first I, I, time. I believe, I believe the first time was child pornography or some shit like that. Something, something that yeah, had to do with you. Thirty-five counts the 30, first time. Thirty-five counts, and he beat it. That no probation, no nothing. No probation, no nothing. No he nothing. Beat he beat it. That. Mm -mm. He beat it. Paid them people off to say that it wasn't their daughter. They lied in the court, said that it wasn't their daughter when it was. Paid them off and got off. He ain't know how to stop. I think he really thought he was invincible and untouchable. Kept going. Of course, of course he was. Kept going. Of course he was. I mean, the man for, what, couldn't stop. Right. Of course he was. But but the women knew what he was about, though. Right? Yeah, the women did know. They set that man all up. They, all of them said one thing. All of them said the same thing. But he was R. Kelly. They if, said, you, if you go back to that documentary. mm each one of them said the same thing, but he was R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. And I told, I told my husband then, I said, had that would have been my son, he couldn't have got that off with neither one of them. Because mm -hmm. he's just Kevin. But according to y'all, because he's R. Kelly, y'all allow him to do that. But they get. But on the flip side of that, I, I don't think they was trapped. I don't think they was. I, I don't think they was held hostage. I think I they could have got. They was, no, I yeah. think that that's a bit extreme. Yeah, that I think they could have got. If they, they wanted to. They yeah. didn't want to. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Victims. He manipulated them. He mm. he manipulated them. He, you you know to make them feel like that he if was they leave, you ain't gonna something. have nothing. They, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like like all men with power do. Yeah. Right. Hey, you you ain't gonna have nothing without me if you leave me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The one lady said she left. And she said she started to call him, or I think she did call him when she left. And then when he answered the phone, she hung up the phone. She knew she had to, you know, just just leave. She walked right out the door. Mm-hmm. She left. Mm -hmm. Listen, she said victims, she listen, victims who address the court says that they barely had any will to live during their time up under R. Kelly's control. You degraded me, humiliated me and broke mm -hmm. my spirit.
Mm. Said woman who went by Jane mm. Doe number two. Now bump mm-hmm. that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bump that. Jane Doe number two. What's your name? Mm. No, nah, you you gonna you you gonna address me. I want to know your name. I don't want to know your name by no damn goddamn Jane Doe. You wasn't Jane Doe number mm-hmm. two when you was up in my house claiming all yeah. this stuff that you claiming now. Mm-hmm. Jane Doe number two. I wish I would have died because how you degraded me. Oh, my God. Why Why you being Damn. Strong? That's what she said? That's what she said. Not, not, not. Victim recalled the incident when she was forced to perform oral sets on Kelly after you played basketball in a car full of your friends. Now, I find that kind of far-fetched. I, I don't think R. Kelly have to force any woman to do fellatio on him. Right. In yeah. a car, in a car full of his friends, you a groupie. Mm-hmm. You was a groupie. Mm-hmm. You was in there probably. R. Kelly was like, "Look, you're gonna have to do my friends if you do me, but you're gonna have to do them first. Ain't that how it always goes? That's crazy. Ain't that how it always goes? You know, when all the females come in there, all the groupies want to be around the guy and hang around the guy and all like that. Mm-hmm. And you, if you're going to do one, you got to do all. Mm. <laughs> do you remember yeah. that? She scolded. Kelly, who was wearing an olive color prison car, I mean, scarb. Over a long sleeve white t shirt, wore a black mask. She said, You don't care less. I avoided your name, your songs, and suffocated with fear. What you did left a permanent stain on my life. Lady, come on now. You 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 probably just mad because this man didn't make you make 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 you a, a superstar. He probably promised you crunch. You know, probably promised you the world and it didn't materialize. But for the women that says, for the women that says that they was trapped and they was they 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 was held hostage. What y'all was doing when this man go went all over the world to do collaborations with other people? When he had to go to when he had to go to Atlanta, Los Angeles, Miami. You mean to tell me y'all couldn't get up and leave out of his house then? Yeah. It wasn't there 24-7. Wasn't there 24-7. Mm-mm. I think he was only there for like a hot minute. Mm-hmm. The victim stopped speaking momentarily when she saw Kelly speaking to one of his attorneys. She says, you're an abuser. Shameless, disgusting, she added. I hope you go to jail for the rest of your life. I feel sorry for you. Mm, mm, mm. Well, of course, I mean, 30 years, you might as well say he's going to jail for the rest of his life. He ain't coming out until 30. Yeah, he'll be 80-something years old. This this man, this guy. This this man was on top of the world. Like I said, he had women flocking him. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. It. Keisha, do you still listen to Kale's music? Yep, sure do. I was watching his concert tonight. Do you think do you think because of this this monumental sentencing, would that change anything as far as his music goes? Nope. Nope. I mean, I'm still a fan. I mean, think about think about <laughs> Bill think about Bill Cosby when he went when he went to jail. Now BET kind of mm-hmm. now BET for a moment stopped running the Cosby Show, but after mm-hmm. after a whole bunch of backlash, they brought it back on the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, as far as his hit making capability goes. Mm-hmm. And 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 this fall from grace, 
again, you do you think that that would affect any of his music? That was a question. Put it like this. <laughs> They're not going to play because they know the people don't want to hear it. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely changed. But you still got people like me that's still a fan. Mm. You can't. The music is the music. It is what it is. Kelly, 55, was convicted in September of racketeering and violating the Man Act, the law that bans transporting people across state lines for immoral purposes. But wait a minute, how is he how is he transporting people if they voluntarily going with him? Mm-hmm. I just the underage girls just got him in trouble. Period. Period. You you got away, you got away with it the first time. You ain't know how to go sit your ass down. I now, then on top of that, you had to record everything. That's a whole nother issue because you want to watch it later. Now I that, mean that I understand. I, I get that. Yeah, I that's the part I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I, some of them girls, they were old enough to leave. I understand. I understand where you're coming from on that. Because yeah, some of them girls that were, was old enough to leave, bro, and they stayed. They choose to stay in that. Now, for the underage girls, yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. You yeah. should. You did that. And we knew that you, you liked, recorded that shit. And, and we you knew, recorded that shit. And we knew that you like underage women because we knew that because we knew. Aaliyah, you know, we gotta we, we gotta know, go back. But guess what? Her uncle did too. And guess what? He introduced them anyway. Mm. Why? Cause he wanted her to get a record deal. Mm. They knew. The uncle knew how it was. We all knew. But he wanted her to get a record deal. And I, he made a hit out shit, of her. From what I heard, he slept with the mama too and her. He, That's and, what and, I heard. And he made a hit out of her. Aaliyah, yeah. he, he made Aaliyah a hit. The first album, yeah. AJ ain't nothing but a number? Mm-hmm. A hit. Mm-hmm. I heard he slept with the mama and her, so go figure. Mm. So my thing is, is it that important to become to get a to get on to where you do shit like that and degrade yourself? Yeah, women do that. Come on now. Mm. Like women do that. Women do that. But then People when they, do that. But then when they don't get their way. There it is. They 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 find mm-hmm. something. They find something of this magnitude mm-hmm. to 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 f you over, man. Yeah, but do I think he took advantage of people? I believe that. I just do. Probably made them think he was gonna put them on and all that. Of course. Of course. You know, but hey, at the all, end yeah, of the listen, day, when listen. you realize all all these superstars <laughs> say that shit. Oh, baby, come with yeah. me. I'll put you on or whatever, whatever. Right. They all say that. Right, but they, when you saw that shit when I'm popping off, uh, time to go. Mm. Should have left. Y'all just stick around. The sentence was more than 25 years. Federal prosecutors sought, had, I mean, had sought. In a letter, Donnelly this month says, Jane Doe number one, fuck that. What's your name? Cried as she addressed the court. She says she spent years believing R. Kelly would never face jealous. I mean, jealous. Goddamn. Justice. I know that there are fans of R. Kelly who don't believe us. I'm having a hard time believing you, lady. Considering that you could have left any time. But she says... I believe what they say, but I think... You could have left. Uh, exactly. You chose to stay. She said that the woman who was 17 when she first met Kelly at a concert back in 1994. 17. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I once That's lost. Really messed up. Eh? I, I mm-hmm. once lost hope in our justice system, but you mm-hmm. restored my faith. It's a constant battle that I no longer live in silence. It's inhumane to endure sexual assault, sex trafficking. It's a modern day slavery in plain sight. And they yo you, you held on to that all these years? Yeah, since she you was just 17 now saying something? Years. 
Y'all held on to that all these years? All these years, man. This you like, just now saying something. Come this, on this, now. This like they did with uh Bill Cosby. They held on to it all these years. And now with the Me Too movement, now they come out and say, yeah, Bill Cosby drug me. Bill Cosby been talking about opioids and all that other shit for years. He even said it in his comedy skits. <sighs> Outside the courthouse Wednesday, the acting executive associate of Homeland Security, he quoted that he quoted lyric, R. Kelly lyrics. Sometimes silence can seem so loud. And praising the tendency of the victims and the justice system. Thankfully, these brave victims and true survivors will be heard forever while Mr. Kelly will be left alone in a jail cell in silence for many, many, many years to come. I guess my question is why now? Why now? If it's been going on for years and years and years, why now? Mm. It is comforting to know that the only loud noise he'll hear every day is his prison cell slamming shut behind him. Kelly's attorney argued in a separate memo that says more than 10 years will be greater than necessary. He contributed to society with music and his generosity. And he has helped people who loved and supported him, defense attorney says. He maintained his innocence. And he is not calculating and conning. Mob justice is in vogue, but this court must distinguish between boorish behavior and criminal. During the trial, which center, uh, which center on the alleged of six people, prosecutors said Kelly was a serial sexual predator who abused young women as well as underage girls and boys for more than two decades. Hold on, stop. Boys? Where the boys at? Where the boys at? Boys? That's what we heard, but where they at? Where they at? Come on now. Why y'all pushing it? Why y'all pushing it? I, I, that, and, and that, I mean, where they at? Exactly. Now we see all the we, we see all the Me Too. We see all the Me Too women coming out of the world work, but where's uh -huh. the boys? No, I don't think R. Kelly is like that, man. Kelly like pussy. I mean, you never know. I, I don't know, man. Kelly like pussy. You never man. know. Kelly like pussy. Yeah, man. you never know. And that's why I said they got that from the girls. But where are the boys at? They never said, that we, we don't know that to be fact. We wasn't there. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Where the boys at? Prosecutors. That's just based off of what the girls said. Exactly. Prosecutors mm -hmm. allege that he and his entourage led a criminal enterprise that recruited and groomed victims for sets, arranged them for travel around the concerts and events across the world. I, I don't know about, I, I, I don't know. I think these females willingly went with him across mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Again, Keisha, like you said before, they could have just left. Mm -hmm. They could have yeah. left, man. Kelly was also accused of conforming victims in hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. or confining, I'm sorry. Confining victims in hotel rooms mm -hmm. or his recording studio manage, managing when they could eat, when they could use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. forced them to follow the rules, which including calling him daddy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Daddy. I don't know, man. That's that's I for some odd reason, I, I never I, I, I never accosted uh, 
Poppy? Yeah, I, I don't mind being called Poppy. I've been Poppy a couple of times. I've been called that plenty of times. But Daddy, though? I'm not your you daddy. You say that in one of his songs. He like to be called daddy. I, I don't know. I I don't know if I like to be called daddy by by, by mm-hmm. one of my female he do. friends. He do. I don't know, man. That, I'm but not y'all your, stayed and y'all did it. I'm, I'm not, That's the thing. I'm not your daddy. You stayed. I'm not your daddy. He, he want to be somebody's daddy. I, 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 ain't he somebody's daddy, though? Don't he got kids? Yeah, he got kids, but it ain't, he ain't talking about that kind of daddy. That daddy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't talking about that kind of daddy. <laughs> Keisha, do you call your husband daddy? Nah. No, no. <laughs> he don't even want to be called daddy. <laughs> nah. My brother-in-law don't want to be called daddy. daddy. Hey. Nah. Not, nah. Not even on mm-hmm. role play. Like, yeah, daddy. Nah. <laughs> nah. Mm-mm. Nah. I like I said, I, I don't I, I feel some kind of I, I don't think I like to be called daddy, but Poppy? I'm good with that, you know, especially when you get a Spanish mommy and all like that. Hey, Poppy. Poppy the right, That's up, sexy. Like, yeah, that's a sexy right. shit. Right. Call that's me. That's sexy. Not not yeah, but call me Poppy. They did it. Whatever he liked to do, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> you chose to stay there while your parents threw rocks at a fucking window. Trying to get your fucking attention. Are you kidding me? You're like, yo, ain't you coming home? Like, no, nah, I'm staying. And if with you daddy. were underage, mm-hmm. like you claim to be, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm coming with my goons and I'm running up in that fucking studio. And come I'm not gonna get throw you? rocks at a freaking window. And coming, I'm coming to, to get, get you? mine. Coming, coming to, to get, get mine. you, especially if you claim you that you was come or not. You it's... claim you under eighteen. You and, you, and you claim that eight. you was a hostage. I'm coming to get you. I'm not going to stand outside and throw rocks at the window trying to get your fucking attention. Come what on, What parents are doing that? Right. If my daughter was held hostage that she claimed, yeah, I'm coming up in there. If I haven't heard from my kid and she's under 18 and I get a hint of where the hell she's at, I'm running up in there. Goons and all catching the plane down. I'm not the, calling no fucking police. You, you, you catching, I'm the police. You, you catching the plane down to Houston, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's gonna be. It's I'm as a matter of fact, I'm already down here. So if it's something going on, all I have to do is just pull up in the big truck and and get uh, oh, God damn, what's her name? Soraya. S- Soraya. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even calling the police. I'm running up in your shit. That's just me. As a parent, come on now. I'm going to stand outside and I'm going to throw rocks at the window. (laughs) Attorney for singer born Robert Sylvester Kelly tried to portray his accusers as groupies who sought to exploit his fame and take advantage of the Me Too movement. That's what they was. Groupies. Groupies. Mm -hmm. Let's 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 be honest. That's what y'all were. Y'all thought y'all y'all went up there. Y'all tried to. Some of them can sing. Yeah. Some, y'all tried to. Some get, of them had a little voice on them. Y'all mm-hmm. tried to get y'all y'all tried to get put on. Yeah. And he and he took. But when you saw it turned into something else, come on now, you should have left. Yeah, especially when he start. You know, when he started to give you them trials. Look, baby, have you uh, have you ever swam naked in Lake Minnetonka? Well, for starters, you have to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. What? You have to purify yourself in Lake Minnetonka. (laughs) I can't with you. (laughs) When they saw he wasn't on that, you should have left. You had a decision. You had a choice to make to leave. He pleaded. Chose to stay. He pleaded not guilty to all charges. And did not take the stand in his own defense. Now, some, well, I think on on the advice of his attorney, that's why he didn't do that. Because he probably could have could have said something that might have criminated him. Like that P tape. So R. Kelly, was that you in the tape? No. No. You know that was you. I'm just saying. Just like Riley say, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of pee. 
Mm-mm. Yeah, ain't nothing, little, ain't nothing wrong with a golden shower. And on our talking points this evening, it seems like the hip-hop community is trading in their gold chains for gold showers. Hip-hop singer R. Kelly is on trial again this week for sharing some of his liquid bling with yet another underage girl. Some advice for Mr. Kelly. Next time, use a golden shower curtain and keep your golden showers to yourself. What's wrong with a man giving away a golden shower? Sounds like a nice gift to me. It says the conventions on Wednesday sentencing was also watershed moment for women of color who too often have their <clears throat> who too often have not had their allegations taken seriously these are vo- I mean these are voices of mostly black and brown women and children that was heard and believed when for whom justice was finally achieved the grammy winning uh, the grammy winning kelly perhaps best known for his hit i can believe i can fly but he also got many more not just that one he got many more he was considered one of the kings of r&b in the 90s and 2000s and he was widely credited with helping to refine the genre. All right, so people, the people that he helped, collaborated with, where are y'all at? Where are y'all uh-huh. at? Where are you guys at? Mr. Big, Ronald Isley, where are you at, bro? Uh, uh-huh. Kelly Price, where are you at, sis? Where you at? Now we already uh-huh. we we already know the relationship between him and Jay Z is kind of scurred. So we knew uh-huh. we, we kind of knew Jay Z wasn't going to come to his aid. All right, but what what about the other people that he put on that uh-huh. he collaborated with that turned into stars? Where are y'all at? Where are y'all? Mm-hmm. Where are you at? Not one of you guys could come forward and say something that and, and, and say something on this man's behalf. I think because they all knew. You know what was that group he was in before he left them? Oh, Public announcement. Public announcement. They all talked about all kind of weird shit with girls. Yeah, they knew. The two guys, they had interviews. They was talking about the shit that he was doing, so they knew. But nobody said nothing. So people around him, they knew what was going on. They didn't say nothing. The rise of the Me Too movement helped lead to greater scrutiny of his behavior behind the scenes. Surviving R. Kelly... Y'all know the Lifetime documentary that was released in 2019, which featured testimony from several accusers, intensified calls for him to face legal consequences. Mm -hmm. After his sentencing, Kelly is scheduled to stand trial again in Chicago on federal child pornography and obstruction of justice charges. It's just not going to stop with this, dude. Mm -hmm. But in in uh, 2008, he was acquitted of child pornography charges. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly. Every single one of them. And your ass couldn't go sit your ass down somewhere. Mm Mm-hmm. Because like I just told our mother tonight, when you grow up mm-hmm. like he did with being molested and, you know, all the shit that went on with him and you don't get no help because black people got a thing about getting counseling or therapy like that's white people shit. Mm-hmm. So when you don't address issues that you went through as a kid and you grow up being an adult, that shit don't go away. 
that shit don't go away. He done had a sister molesting on him. The neighbor down the street molested on him. The mother ain't do shit. He done had all type of nasty shit. You understand what I'm telling you? Like, this is what happens when you don't go get your ass some type of help going on, some type of counseling and therapy. This is what happens. The shit don't go away. Because mm. everybody said R. Kelly is nice. R. Kelly cool and all that. But they all said, Robert, he a motherfucker. He the devil. They all said that. And that was the side that we all didn't know. But they knew it. We didn't see that. Mm. Mm. People let you see what they want you to see. That's real talk. Mm. Well, but I you- believe... You could have left if you wanted to, because all of them kept saying, but he was R. Kelly, but it was R. Kelly. If that was my son doing that to them ladies, he couldn't have did none of that, because he just Kevin. He ain't got no money. He ain't nobody. But them. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he ain't R. Kelly, so he couldn't have got that off. Thank just think they made an example out of him. Everybody else don't get time like that. I have half these... People didn't get away with shit like that. We ain't going to talk about Elvis. That's a whole nother story. We ain't going to talk about Hugh Hefner. That's a whole nother story. But they made an example out of him because he black. Straight up. Oof. That's the truth. Robert Kelly, y'all. Uh, what do you guys think in the, what, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? Brother, sister time. That's what's up. Me and my sister get together and we 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 talk culture. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me class kids went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart got bars, you got pops. Urge right the Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum pum pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.